Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, I've got a really cool feature you should know about regarding sorting. Sorting I find to be extremely easy, but we're going to create a custom sort list in today's video. So I have an Excel file already open. I'm going to keep this really simple. If I want to sort by the month that they became a client, I can go to the data tab. I can right click. I can hit A to Z since I'm in cell G2. It worked. I've got April, August, December, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for January through December in this example. So data tab, click on sort month. They became a client cell values. You want to go to your custom list right below the word new. There are four options. Those are already set up in Microsoft Excel. So I have a three letter month. If I had the four letter month, I would pick the last one, but I'm gonna pick the three letter month. Click on OK, click on OK. Great, it worked. January, Feb, March, April, on and on. In my example though, our fiscal year is different from the calendar year and I need to sort July to June or October through September. If I'm, I'm gonna do July to June. So find an empty area. It is up to you whether you want to see a uh, month all the way spelled out or just a three letter abbreviation. I'm going to go with the three letter abbreviation. Auto fill down until you get to the last month, which would be June. Leave them selected. To add them to your custom list in Windows PC, uh, you're going to go to file and options. You can do this for the Mac. Also, I'll put the Mac instructions down below. After you go to file options, you're going to click advanced, scroll all the way to the bottom. What you're looking for is edit custom list. There it is. There are the items that are already in here. If you notice, I've got July through June selected. I've got the cell range right here. I can do an import. It's not just for this file. That is now a custom list on this computer that I'm running. So I, any file you send me, I can do this July through June sort. Hit OK, click OK a second time. Delete what you just did, you don't need it. Click back in here, go to sort, drop down, custom list, July, August, September, hit OK, hit OK, and there is July, August, September sorted. It doesn't have to be just months. It can be products. It could be a list of personnel. I'm going to do it with ad source. So here's a bonus tip right now. I've got multiple ad sources listed. I'm going to copy. I need to find the unique or distinct ones. I'm going to remove duplicates. This is on the data tab. Hit OK. Click OK. So I've got my unique ad sources here. Now the question is, how do you want to see these sorted? I am making this up. I added the word rank. You can type in whatever word you want. And again, I, when I say I'm making this up, I'm making it Google ads is going to be one. I want Facebook to be two, magazine to be three, newspaper four and TV five. Right click and just do a sort. Smallest to largest. I've got them in the right order. Here we go. Highlight them. Same exact steps. I'll go ahead and finish this, but I believe you got it. File, options, advance, down to the bottom, edit your custom list, import, because they're selected. There they are. Hit OK. Hit OK. Delete what you did over here. This is really good stuff. Hit sort. Um, I want to sort by ad source, custom list, watch this, okay and okay, Google ads, Facebook, magazine. There you go. You should have that as part of your Excel skills because we're always sorting in Excel. Let me know if you like this video. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe, ring the bell. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I really appreciate your time. And I really appreciate your support for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.